Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainar from Civil Center and welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Techless Textile Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to make this type of structure using circular beams and circular columns in the Techless Textile Designer software. So if you are new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to learn this, make sure you watch the end total video. So let's start. So first of all, we'll go to model and we'll define our construction levels. So this let this be the plinth level. We'll insert a level below here. Let's give it minus 1.2 meter, which will be my foundation level and insert level above it. Let's give it a spacing of 3.2 meters and uh, make this a concrete floor of SSL structural slab level with a slab thickness of 100 mm. So this is the basics. And after that, we'll just uh, go to this option of your, we have this particular sector wizard. So we'll go create a circular grid using the sector wizard so we want it in all the levels so this is selected origin is our origin and then we want base so we want only one bay for now and uh, after that the length we want as five meters so after that we'll just click on next and after that uh, this count you can so we have eight uh, sector segments and then click on next and then click on finish and after that we'll just select the columns here and after selecting the columns we'll just uh, select the sizes here so we'll have a circular size of let's say here of a 350 mm dia and uh, let's click on ok and uh, we can just change the grade of the concrete also to fp500 and after that we can just place it place this uh, columns in the points which you want we'll have it along all the eight segments here and after that, we'll just go uh, with the beams here and uh, you can uh, define the beam size. So the beam size, which we're going to define is our, this was on. So we'll define a beam size of 250 into 300 and then click on OK. And then just select this and your rectangular uh, beams will be created. So if you want it at the next level as well, you can copy it, go to construction levels and uh, just to make this as base and then click on ok and after that go to construction levels once again and make them as unique and uh, then i can go to the structure window go to levels here go to structure one and after that uh, select the slabs here just make the slab and click on validate so the model is validated so the modeling is correct so after that you can apply your loads similarly Go to the plinth level take the dead load so for the trial we're just taking the dead load only and after that go to loads here and uh, you can apply this uh, full udl let's go with five kilonewton per meter and uh, we'll select all the elements one by one this is for the wall load so if you want to know how to calculate the wall load you can comment below we'll send you the link to the video in which you will find that so in the 3d view if we uh, see this particular loading this looks like this and uh, if you go into structure one now if you just turn on the imposed loads you can just apply the imposed loads as well let's uh, give over the load of two kilonewton per meter here so this is if you just turn on this imposed loads so this is how it looks like so imposed loads and dead loads also you can apply here and after having applied that uh, you can go to load uh, combination generate some load combinations delete We'll go with the LS or the limit state method and uh, after that next finish and then just click on OK and after that you can check whether your modeling or the loading which you have applied is correct or not. Just go to design and uh, you can select this option of design concrete static. So this will analyze and design the model as you can see the model has been analyzed and designed. So as you can see the columns are failing so if you can select the columns here and uh, just increase uh, the dia of the columns here so let's give it as uh, 450 mm dia and after that uh, just right click on it and then uh, click on design selection static so after that uh, you can see the columns have passed and you can check the reinforcement in the columns as well design member static just uh, check the reinforcement used so this is the 12 mm reinforcement used if you want to change this uh, particular bar dia size so you can go to design and settings and uh, for this columns maximum bar size you can just increase this to 16 and this fe500 and this one also fe500 this uh, 12 and this one fe500 
16 just click on ok and ok and after that if you then do this as a design concrete static and after that you can check the design once again select this right click design selection static and you can check that 7 bars of 16mm have been used so like this you can find out the reinforcement and if you want the report you can, if you want simply want the material listing you can just click on here and then click on show report so we'll have the material listing here so this is the material listing reinforcement uh, total uh, quantity of reinforcement total quantity of concrete which has been used so like this uh, you can have it so after that if you want you can also go to this particular result view and uh, you can turn on the results and you can check the forces if you want the values of the forces you can find that and you can also check the shear forces shear force major and also the bending moment diagrams also you can have that in that particular portion so like this you can have so friends that's all for today's video hope you found something useful and got to learn something from this for more videos related to Tekla Textual Designer, Revit Structures and various other softwares and concepts practical concepts related to civil engineering make sure you stay tuned to our channel bye bye